Welcome to Triple Trouble. In this new series, we are going to explain more about the technique week that we did last year. Um, Jaap is relatively new to this uh, whole recurve thing, so we are going to take him through the technique week step by step and go further into detail on what we explained last year. First off, last year we started with uh, the jumping technique. So uh, jump up, land on your feet, and see how your feet are so you have a stable, uh, stable platform to stand on. So yeah, uh, a little higher. Yeah, so he has a, a little bit of an open stance uh, right now and uh, his feet are pointing a little bit outwards, which is fine. Uh, personally, I recommend uh, if your knees can take this, I recommend having your foot um, pointing always either parallel to the line or a little towards the target. So don't have uh, your feet all the way like this, uh, as in a duck feet, but uh, turn your feet so that they're not too far apart. So as you can see, every time Jaap walks to the line, you can check if your feet are correct. And uh, it's important that you put your feet at the same spot every time you start shooting. Jaap is going to pull back his bow with his eyes closed and see if he will end up at the target with his sight when he opens his eyes or if he's going to be left or right from the target. So close your eyes. Okay, so Jaap is uh, aiming at the target that he's supposed to aim at, which means that his angle of his feet, so his, uh, his open stance, is a comfortable stance for him and uh, it will make for a good platform. So Jaap was dead on in his stance, which meant that when he pulled back his bow with his eyes closed, his sight uh, came onto the right target. Uh, but we're gonna explain what you can do if that's not the case. So Jaap, if you could please uh, move your right foot a little forward and pull back your bow with your eyes closed. In theory, that would mean that he's now aiming too far to the left. So if you would open your eyes. Yeah, so he's aiming at target six, six rather than target seven. If this is the case, you can just simply move back your right foot just a bit, and then you'll notice that when you uh, pull back your bow another time uh, with your eyes closed, it should be on uh, target seven or maybe eight if you went too far. A good thing to state is that this is one of the ways to determine your open stance or closed stance, but not the only way. He's now aiming on target seven again, so he did the right adjustment. Uh, this goes two ways. So if you're, uh, if you're aiming too far to the left, you put your right foot a little, back, little bit back. And if you're aiming too far to the right, you can put your right foot a little forward. So you can adjust it by uh, doing that. So um, I suppose that Jaap found his uh, stance and I think it's uh, his right foot a little bit forward compared to his left foot. So obviously an open stance can help with your um, tension on your core, like we explained last year. If you have an open stance and you need to uh, get your shoulders in line, you will torse or put some torsion on your body and this can help with your core tension. Uh, however, it also means that you have to keep your hips above your feet. You cannot simply do this because then the core doesn't do anything. So if you're, I'm gonna exaggerate a bit. Um, this is a very open stance, uh, but if I do this, I still don't have tension on my core. As you can see, my hips are still exactly under my shoulders. If you want to put tension on your core by having an open stance, I suggest that you keep your hips above your feet and then you only turn your shoulders and not turn your hips as well. So turn your shoulders. You can see that my core is slightly, slightly twisted and this is what will put tension on the muscles in my core. So a good way or a good cue to activate your uh, core muscles and tilt your pelvis is 
if, you think, if you think it's difficult to tilt the pelvis, just activate your glutes a bit and that will have the same effect as actually just tilting the pelvis. So looking at Jaap, his knees will not be completely straight, but uh, still straight. So not in a locked position, but in a straight posi position. Uh, then he will slightly move over to the front of his feet, which we will talk about later. Uh, tilt the pelvis a bit. And then uh, keep your hips there, pull back and put your shoulders in lane. So now you can see that there's a healthy dose of tension on his core, but his body is quite straight. Another cue uh, for being stable uh, in your shot and having a good stability uh, is to have your weight shifted a little bit to the front of your feet. If you're uh, leaning back in the shot, it's very easy to lift up your chest and uh, make sure that you cannot pull back anymore because it's uh, difficult to get the mobility. If you uh, move to the front of your feet just until the point that your toes start to grab to the floor, uh, that's about where you want to hang out. Uh, so Jaap, uh, you can see that when Jaap uh, is going to shoot, you can see that he's going a little bit forward and that his toes grab into the floor. So if you could please demonstrate, Jaap. So now he's standing completely straight, tilting his pelvis. And now he goes to the front of his feet. It's a very clear movement, but he stays at that point. Uh, there's a lot of uh, talk about uh, percentages. So some people say it should be 60% on the front of the foot uh, or 40% in the back or 70 and 30, but that's very difficult to measure or to, uh, to think about when you're shooting. So we like to, to say the moment your toes uh, want to grab into the floor is the moment uh, you're stable and uh, that's a good, good way to stand. So there's two ways that you can uh, shift your weight forward on your foot. You can either uh, just throw your upper body forward and as a result of that have a high chest or you can uh, put your whole body forward and have your weight on your toes a bit and keep your body straight. So Jaap has a tendency to when he shoots cant his hips and stand like this whereas I would like to see him use his whole body to move his weight to his feet. T-line, uh, which is something we uh, discussed last year as well with Gijs. Uh, Gijs stated that nobody uh, in the top archery uh, circuit has his hips forward or backwards in the shot. So um, let's see if we can get Jaap in the top circuit uh, and uh, look at his, have a look at his T-line. So Jaap, if you could please shoot an arrow. Now that I uh, told him what to do, he's probably going to do it on purpose. But, uh, You can see that there is a slight bend in his uh, spine and he is, you can see that he's slowly in his shot going a little backwards and with his hips forwards. It's only slightly but uh, there's something. So now I'm going to just uh, give Jaap two, uh, two points where he uh, will pay attention to because I'm going to poke him and I'm going to keep him straight and uh, you'll feel if he's doing it right or not. Did that feel different? Yep. Yeah, I was really paying attention to it, so it was kind of strange, but you don't really notice when you're doing it. So it's really, you have to check yourself continuously to, uh, to make sure you're not doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. So I'm gonna probably stand in front of the frame, but I'm gonna correct him now from this side.
So immediately you can notice that he uh, misses some draw length when he's doing this. Uh, keep in mind that draw length isn't everything. It's nice if you have a long draw length, uh, but it's not necessary and uh, it's better to have a fitting draw length than a long draw length. So we're going to adjust this clicker, which we developed something for. Um, obviously with the biter clicker, sometimes you hurt your fingers if you want to tighten it too much. So we made this little wooden tool, uh, which we think is really cool. And uh, you can just use it to put it onto the uh, clicker bit, untighten it, move it a bit, and tighten it again. And it's just that easy. And you can just uh, put it in your quiver and have it around all the time. So we have the stance figured out now. Jaap is uh, standing straight and uh, stable. So on the next episode, we are going to talk about focus and pre-shot routine. So uh, stay tuned and uh, see you tomorrow.